Joining me now for an exclusive interview, House Democratic Whip, Maryland Congressman Steny Hoyer. Congressman Hoyer, I know you thought that you had final passage of this bill uh, two years ago, but it turns out final passage was today when the final conference committee, those nine people across the street from you, issued their report, and they made the Medicaid provision optional, otherwise left the entire bill standing. What do you make of the Supreme Court's rewrite of your bill? Well, um, when you say the rewrite, essentially the bill is is whole. Uh, we'll have to look at the Medicaid provision and see what uh, uh, might need to be done there. Uh, but we're very, very pleased. We thought this bill was constitutional. The Supreme Court has said it's constitutional. It was within our powers, and we think that uh, the American public can be more secure today uh, than they were yesterday with the assurance that they're going to have access to affordable, quality health care. That was our objective. Uh, uh, Leader Pelosi worked very hard hard towards that end. Uh, President Obama worked hard towards that end. We all did. Uh, and we think this is a bill that's going to be, that is good uh, for America uh, and will bring down costs. We'll provide for seniors with lower prescription drug costs. We'll give uh, young people the ability to stay on their parents' policy until they're 26 if they haven't been able to find a job. Uh, we'll make sure that insurance companies can't put uh, caps uh, on uh, insurance benefits when people get really sick. And we'll particularly uh, importantly, make sure that people that already have an illness, a pre-existing condition, will be able to get health care insurance, which they need. So we think it's a good day for Americans. Congressman Hoyer, I, I've been saying literally for years, uh, since 2009, before uh, you guys got down to votes on this, that the uh, constitutional authority for an individual mandate would lie in the power to tax. That's why these bills were in the tax committee. Uh, they were written there, both in the House and the Senate. Was it just the, the semantic risk of using the word tax publicly uh, in the past that made Democrats reluctant to cite that particular power? Well, of course, that was uh, part of the uh, uh, presentation that the uh, uh, that was made on behalf of the bill, as you know, although it was not the major thrust. Um, but the fact is that uh, I think this is a contribution, and really what it is is a taking a personal responsibility for our own health care and uh, uh, our own health care insurance and not passing that along uh, to others and expecting others to pay the bills that you incur when and if uh, and inevitably uh, you get sick and you need medical help. Uh, the Republicans, of course, uh, are very disappointed today. They were so sure that this was going to be held unconstitutional. And, of course, Justice Roberts joined uh, the opinion that, in fact, it was constitutional. And I think they're, they're, they're glomming on to this uh, tax uh, provision uh, in the decision to uh, somehow make their continuing case uh, about uh, the fact that we don't need to pay for what we buy. President Hoyer, you wrote the bill designed to cover uh, over 30 million people currently without health insurance. CBO has uh, recently revised downward their limit of how many people it would cover, saying it would cover 30 million. But 17 million of those, the majority of those were to be covered under the Medicaid statute. How do you think the next CBO report is going to score? The the number of people who will actually get coverage, given that 26 states went to the Supreme Court saying we don't want the Medicaid coverage, now it's optional for all 50 states. We're going to have to look at that. We're going to have to address uh, that issue. And uh, we want to make sure that we have uh, as many Americans as we possibly can covered under health insurance to give them, as I say, that assurance of the availability of uh, coverage. So we'll and have quickly, to look at be it. before you go, Congressman Hoyer, I'd like to get your reaction to that uh, contempt vote against uh, the Attorney General at the House of Representatives today. I thought this was a very sad day uh, for the Congress of the United States. Uh, this was politics, not due process. Process. Uh, this was the choosing of confrontation over cooperation. Uh, th the normal number of days between a committee action and floor action is 87 days. This was seven days. Uh, it was rush, a rush to judgment. Uh, this is all about politics and not, in my opinion, about the ability of the Congress to get the information it needs. The Attorney General has been extraordinarily cooperative, turned over 7,600 pieces of uh, uh, documents uh, for the committee to see. And in fact, the committee's investigation on the underlying substance of this issue was superficial, uh, and uh, they shut out witnesses asked to be uh, called who knew about the incident involved, knew about uh, 
the so-called fast and furious process, and that's not what this is about. This is simply about politically going after uh, uh, the attorney general uh, for partisan purposes. House Democratic Whip, Marilyn Congressman Steny Hoyer, thank you very much for joining me on this historic day in the Supreme Court and historic day in the House of Representatives. Thank you.